Hi, I'm Rochelle, and I'm with TCU School of Nursing. Today we're putting on a public health event where we help target the infant mortality rate in Tarrant County. Currently, the mortality rate in Tarrant County is 6.17 per 1,000 births. This location specifically holds the highest infant mortality rate in the entire Tarrant County. Hi, my name is Jessica and I'm a part of the TCU nursing program. Right now I'm standing outside of the Boys and Girls Club. We're at the Stop 6 community in Tarrant County. We've gone out and reached out to the community members and we're hoping that everyone can come in and talk to us about how to provide a safe environment for not only their baby, but for themselves. Today we're gonna to be teaching our moms how to create safe places for their infants. We're gonna teach them how to swaddle their baby in our halo sleep sacks. And we're also gonna teach the moms how to create a safe crib or pack and play environment for their infant. And we hope that the mothers can walk away with more education to decrease the high infant mortality rate that exists in this county. So we're gonna to talk to the mothers about purple crying, and it is a period when the child is between two to four months old where they'll start crying uncontrollably. A lot of the times, mom, she's gonna think that it's her fault, and what we wanna to do today is, is to teach them that it's okay when their baby's crying like this and that you know they're not in any pain, but we also want them to know if the crying doesn't stop that it's not their fault. And we also wanna give them the hotline number if they do feel out of control, like they can call this hotline and get the help that they need and, and have people to talk to them and do care about them and just want to show them that it's a normal part of the child's life. So through our presentation, we want mothers to take away kind of the importance of not smoking while pregnant and possibly quitting smoking so that they understand the risk that comes with um, smoking, the impact it has on their child, as well as understanding kind of the signs and symptoms of infections and how not treating them can affect their child, as well as importance of eating healthy and taking vitamins while pregnant because not doing so might impact their child as well. We hope to educate moms on how to better take care of themselves while pregnant and after having a baby. We need healthy moms to have healthy babies. 